I I got my I got my prediction wrong. I actually thought Aerospace was gonna was gonna take get get rid of him by the maybe eighth, ninth, ninth round. But you know what? What do we learn about this fight? We learn that Mikey Garcia is a tough piñata. He is a tough, tough Mexican. That's 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 what he proved for us today. He didn't show anything else in this fight but to show that even his ribs got a chin like <laughs> he could take a shot body down to the head but let, let's let's start from let's start from the beginning um the judges had it 120 to 18 two judges had it 120 to 18 and one judge had it to 120 to 120 um 120 to 18 yeah and and one judge had it 120 to 107 that means one of the judges must have um given um aerospence a 10 8 round um maybe it's probably either the 9th or the 11th but you know i think the judge was just being extra it's just safe to say that for me aerospence won every single round he didn't drop the round and i thought that was the right decision 120 all across the board I mean, there's only one, maybe the second round, you might be able to like split it, but I still didn't think Mikey did enough. What I like about Mikey is every, after every round, he likes to like pump his fist in the air, like, yeah, I've just done it, maybe to try and sway the judges, but he used to do that with other fights against Brona, against um, um, uh, the other fights, and at that time, you were like, yeah, of course you did win it, and, but he wasn't fooling anyone with that sort of tactics the advantages aerospence had obviously he had the size advantage did did we see much of that um i'm not always in too sure i fought boxing man tonight it reminded me of like in a weird way against them um, um mayweather against them um, marcus against marcus and um, yeah, it's just he just couldn't get close. He couldn't get close to um, Eric Spence. Eric Spence has got a beautiful jab. He just used his jab all night to just keep the distance and control the fight. That was the main thing. Eric Spence's jab, his southpaw jab, and like in the first few rounds, Eric Spence was like, you know, using a lot of um, he was just going to the head a lot, you know, just almost trying to take his head off, just. Shots and I was thinking, what about this body you keep doing? It's only about from like the fourth round, and he started working the body, but I still didn't think Errol Spence worked the body enough for me. But, um, you know, credit credit to where's credit's due, um, especially if Michael Diaxia said this is the first time he's ever walked on his core. I thought that's way too late to try and like start walking on your core to fight against the likes of one of the best body punchers in the world but he 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 stuck at it um how um mikey garcia usually uh, because he's got short arms and everything what he usually does he, he walks on feints and he, he makes he keeps you off off balance to 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 his other opponents he keeps you off balance so he could walk his way around you and he's always timing that straight one two but he couldn't he couldn't get off to that because Aerospace was just using his jab and you know just effectively just Mikey couldn't get close to him only time Mikey get close is when he had the, the odd one to one or two counters and it and the only re way Mikey Garcia would have been able to use his fakes feints and um, get close was if he had landed a, a telling shot that um, Errol Spence would have respected, but Errol Spence, there was nothing that Mikey Garcia threw that had um, Errol Spence worried. Errol Spence is, is one of those guys, he's got underrated boxing skills. Um, he, he walked on the jab, even when Mikey Garcia had few successes, he was just riding it, blocking the shots. And um, yeah, it was, just, it was just a systematically, he just systematically just beat down Mikey Garcia today. He he didn't even use much of his size, I won't say. 
maybe the the the, the punching power the punching power um had um, Mikey Garcia forced Mikey Garcia to respect it a little bit and he wasn't able to like thought he could walk down there with Spence but yeah he was just it was it was a pointless fight. He just this fight was just 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 to show that Mikey Garcia could take it. He could take a shot and he he he, he stuck it for the whole 12 rounds. What is Mikey Garcia going to do next now? I mean, the fight we really wanted to see was him against um, Lomachenko. <sighs> now, the, one of the reasons why um, Eric Spence couldn't drop Mikey Garcia is because one, he's got a great chin, and two, the only way Eric Spence would have got a stoppage was if he hit Mikey Garcia with a shot he couldn't see. So um, I don't think Errol Spence was fast enough to throw punches, explosive enough to throw punches that Mikey Garcia couldn't see. He could see all the shots. And um, and and he couldn't... And when you could see most of the shots, you could brace your body to it. Now Lomachenko, the only way I could see Lomachenko Dude, I don't. I doubt Lomachenko will be able to stop the likes of Mike Garcia. He might be able to outbox him. I don't know, but the only way my, um, Lomachenko would stop him is maybe he sees a shot. He throws a shot that from a different angle that Mike Garcia wouldn't see. I tell you what, one of the great things I saw of Mike Garcia at no one stage did he hold in the fight, even when he was getting beaten down. He did not hold. He was so tough and he just fought all the way through. That's one thing he showed. He showed today that he is tough. He did hold. He just took his beating like a man. And um, I'd just like to see him fight Lomachenko. Eric Spence just wants, uh, wants the money now because <laughs> he called up um, Pacquiao afterwards. I mean, just like how GGG done it. Like he could have fought, GGG could have fought. Um, um, Billy Joe Saunders in um, in Kazakhstan to the fight all the belts, but he chose to go for Canelo in the first fight, who had no belts. Everything is all about money. Don't let all these boxers fool you. He wants to the money fight. He's not trying to unify with um, Spence, with um, Sean Porter or Keith Thurman. The money fight is Manny Pacquiao, and it's best to just have that fight before Manny Pacquiao finally goes. My Pacquiao would set a different sort of challenge for um, Errol Spence Jr. Um, he's faster, and yeah, he's, he's faster, and he's a, they're both southpaws, so it's totally different angles. Whether or not he'll be able to um, take the punches, only time will tell. Um, it'll be a, a, just a different, different sort of look, but. And AJ Manny Pacquiao might not be able to like go the distance, but now Aero Spence has lost that invincibility power about not many people's um not by not stopping Mikey Garcia. So um um love hopefully love all the world will wait to wanna fight with him. With the likes of Ter Terrence Bond Crawford, well I don't see that fight any fight happening anytime soon. Like Aero Spence tries to say he well, he's not try. Uh, like he says, it's all about cleaning my side of the street first. So, um, what would you like to? See? Who would you like to see him fight next? Well, yeah, thanks for your time. This is me. I'm gonna go to bed. Don't even know what the time is now, but it's Uncle T signing up. <laughs>